to love people. You want to show people that there is hope in this cold, dark world. There's no hope in dope. There's no hope in coke. And there's no hope in the Pope. Jesus Christ is the only way. Do not be confused by the devil. The devil is the author of confusion. The devil wants to confuse you to think that Jesus is just another religion. But Jesus Christ is not a religion. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And if you reject Jesus Christ on this earth, the Father will reject you. And you will be sent with Satan and his minions. And you will not like it. You will not. It will not be fun. Humble yourself. Soften your heart towards the gospel. Jesus Christ can change your life. And Jesus Christ will lead you to heaven instead of hell. You do not have to go to hell. There, you can um, get to heaven. But the way to get to heaven is the only way is Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is real. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is not a religion. I do not want you to join a religion. I do not want you to come to my church. I want you to repent and be born again and baptize in the Holy Spirit. And then you will see the fruits. Jesus Christ loves you amen jesus christ is real you know there's no other person in this world that can save you except jesus christ yeah no buddha no muhammad nothing there's no religious in jesus christ it's yeah. a relationship see jesus died for you and i see jesus is one king that everybody's supposed to follow jesus is one king that everybody's supposed to accept we are not here wasting our time we love you that's why we are here to preach the word right. so you will understand that this jesus is not looking for perfect people People. He just want people to soften their heart. He just want people to come before him and say, Lord, I want to know you. The Bible said, seek me with all of your heart and you will find me. So tonight, I encourage you, when you seek him with all of your heart, God will open and come in your house regardless of what. Because he's faithful. He loves you guys. He doesn't want anyone to perish. Yeah. In the book of Peter, he said, the reason I'm not coming yet is because I don't want anyone to perish, but I want everyone everyone to come to repentance so they yeah. can spend time with me in eternal which is heaven like my brother said he's the only way the truth and the life there is no other god that can save you there is no any religious that can save you we are not here to convert nobody but we are here to share the love of christ the king of king the hope of glory yeah. jesus love you guys tonight please i beg you from the bottom of my heart we are not here wasting our time but tonight get in your house and pray and, and ask God, Lord, I want you to touch me. Lord, I want you to speak to me. I want to know who you are because the stupid preachers in the street, they're preaching about you. But tonight, I want to know who you are, Lord God. And the Bible said it will come. The Bible said he will draw near to him. He will also draw near to you yeah. when you seek him in, with all of your heart. Amen. We praise God. Hey, brother, how you doing? God is awesome. Lord, we bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Don't send your Be sober, ready, and alert. Amen. Yeah. I'm sober, like this. I'm Thank you, Jesus. You know, we are not here by our own strength. We are not here by our own power. But God is the one holding us. You know, God is the one strengthening us. And you know, I love you guys so much. You know, just open your heart. Just open your heart. God need your heart. I know most of us, if you don't have Christ in your life, you are broken. If you don't have Christ in your life, you are broken. That's why you see the celebrity, they go out, hang themselves. That's why you see the celebrity, they commit suicide. Why? Because there is no hope in money. Money is not the root of happiness. Jesus is the root of happiness. You know, everything that you have, whether it's a good car, whether it's a good job, good job will never buy your ticket to heaven. The only person that can provide your ticket to heaven is Jesus Christ. And he, and you have to ha accept him. You must be born again to go to heaven. You must give your life to Christ to go to heaven. You know, religious can never lead you to heaven. Whatever they told you can never lead you to heaven. The Bible said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no other way to heaven except through me. So, you know, he is the way, the truth, and the life. We bless his holy name. He's a
king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. And he loves everybody the same. The problem is we don't want to know him. That's the problem. You know, God loves all of us the same. Yeah, I ran out of work, man. It's my first time doing my stand, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus Christ, he can set you free, hallelujah, Jesus says, the Bible says to seek, seek him while he may be found, hallelujah, call upon him while he is near. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ loves you. He died on the cross for your sins 2,000 years ago. He shed his blood on the cross so that we may live, so that we may have eternal life. Jesus Christ, repent and turn from your sin. Hell is waiting for you. And the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Ask yourself, if you die today, where are you going to spend eternity? Where's your soul going to end up? Eternal life or eternal punishment? No, we're all sinners. We're not perfect. The Bible says that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We've all fallen short. No one is perfect in the eyes of God. No one is righteous. And you see, our, righteous, our righteousness cannot get us into the kingdom of God. The Bible says that our righteousness are as filthy rags. No one is perfect. No one is righteous. We're saved by grace through faith. And it's not of ourselves, it's the gift of God. It's not of works that anyone should boast. We're not here to we're not here to judge you, we're not here to, to mock you or, or to condemn you, but we're here to give you the truth. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. He can set you free. He loves you, He died on the cross for your sins so that you can be born again. If you repent today and believe in the gospel of Jesus, you will be born again, you will have eternal life. For all have sinned and fall short of God's glory. No one is perfect. No one is righteous. No, God is patient with us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He wants us to repent. And that's to turn away from sin because sin will lead us to hell. Sin will separate us from the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. God woke you up for a reason today. He gave you breath in your lungs. This is His grace. Hallelujah. But if you accept Christ today, if you answer the call, hallelujah, Jesus Christ can set you free. He will give you eternal life. You can be born again. You can receive the gift of eternal life. You can even receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. If you accept Christ today, we're here, we're here, we're here because we love you. We care for you. We want you to know the truth because the devil comes.